Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this Factorio series. In the uh, previous video we uh, topped up our resources of stone by building a new train and harvesting from a remote site and now that's set up we want to get back to our focus the goal of this so-called free play mode in this game that's the, that's the intended mode even though it's called free play the ultimate goal uh, of this mode is to build a rocket silo and launch a rocket into space so if we just look at the research we've got going on uh, we've got lab research speed five level five we've got our spidertron which uh, i've already done some research progress on that and we'll resume that after this gets going got our robots going in a previous video and uh, we're going to increase their speed hopefully so they can get about the map more quickly um, productivity module i tend not to use that in most things modules remember can be attached to uh, assembly machines make them more efficient make them faster efficiency is this productivity one um, faster with a speed module or more energy efficient drawing less electricity and there there you see the rocket silo which will ultimately allow us to launch a rocket into space and win the game so that's our sort of milestone of goals I do however want to start prepping for the rocket silo because once that's built to actually launch a rocket we're going to need a couple of components fed into that silo so I want to start this video by prepping the first of those if I go into my crafting screen my inventory logistics and over here the crafting research is going on so that's just unlocking new things but rocket fuel is self-explanatory almost we're going to need that but I'll come back to that first we're going to need and build provision for rocket control units and as you can see its ingredients there are the blue electronics or processing units as they're known and a speed module a level one speed module so blue circuits and, and a speed module so bear that in mind now I'm over here I'm just just zoom out a bit just to give you a uh, context of where I am just off to the side of the science labs here and up here is our mall that builds lots of stuff for us while we're away and an earlier sort of temporary provision I made was the building of modules in this case the blue speed modules level one would feed in to build level two and ultimately level three if that was researched and the green are the energy efficiency modules um, and at the moment because I was just using these if you see on this lab for example it has placed in it an efficiency module and a speed module see the stats there that it increases its energy consumption by 50% but it also increases its speed of production by 20% and then you counter that energy drain by adding in an, an at this rate anyway a level one energy efficiency module reducing that draw by 30 percent so they kind of complement each other um i have earlier in the series during research managed to unlock logistics three and these top level assembly machine level three uh, they can have up to four modules in them and I'm thinking we're going to utilize some of them to build these uh, rocket control units and um, later on the uh, rocket fuel so given that our rocket control units utilize blue circuits here and within the mall we were using those and indeed you can see actually uh, an assembly machine here already which was geared up part of the mall it's getting fed an assembly um, 
a speed module there via this red inserter long-handed we'll pass created items here into there and you see that is actually generating some at the moment or it has been doing for a while now but if we're just not utilizing them because if you see where it goes this outputs to there and the assembly machine that picks it up has not yet got a purpose it's, um, whereas all these you see the icon of what they're destined to build I believe this is destined to build our Spidertron <laughs> once he's researched and over here I'm thinking that's going to be the remote control for the Spidertron and I can't remember what this is might not matter anyway so we're going to build um, I'm thinking we're going to build an extra couple of producers of um, control units, rocket control units. So what I've done in prep for that is I took this existing blue electronic feed, although it's mixed with batteries, put a splitter on the end and set a filter so that it'll only allow through the blue circuits because I don't want the batteries. Put a underground belt here and that comes out here with just the blue circuits on. So I thought what we'd do, we'd re repurpose these last two assembly machines away from this method here this provision and um, we'll you know we'll take the output of those and we'll feed them over there and hopefully put them on the same belt as those blue circuits on the other side of the belt so let's see at the moment they're picking up from there that's what they need to build they need green and red circuits uh, now they're currently outputting it directly into this machine here so I want to just rearrange this area slightly rethink it so we can in fact this is probably surplus so I'm going to right click and get rid of it I'll get rid of these just get rid of these um, I do have I've got a, an accumulation from that other manual benefit method of um, of these uh, um, speed modules but what I want to do I want an output from these and I want to feed it round perhaps up here to here so what I'm going to do is I'm thinking I can separate this let's see is that in the way this is perhaps too far let's just track that back a bit um, bring it to there and then we'll we'll have a transport belt here so that we can drop onto it on the side if I this is coming down here if I create a uh, let's create a gap here let that carry on there so we've got a clear run this this underground carries on feeding this green red down here so we don't need to worry about that the uh, control rocket control circuits we're gonna put a belt there with our intention of they'll just drop onto this side you see and our, as I use these belts our diligent logistic robots you see them bringing me more stuff but um, what I'm thinking is we'll leave a gap for the um, the inserter to place onto the belt and we'll just bring it round here at this late stage in the game I'm not going to be fussy I don't need to be fussy about power restraints we've got nuclear power set up in a previous uh, video check those out if you haven't seen them already it's been a I think this is going to be episode 14 give you an idea um, so we just use a yellow belt with the arrow points towards where it's going to output its direction and we'll put those there so you see it's starting to output what it had already accumulated within itself but it'll now build new ones and each one's going to be put on there and we should see it drop onto this side of the belt good so now we need to decide where really where we're going to put um, bring that down a bit but we're going to have our assembly machines building I'll just drop them in and just see how it works out we can always change it afterwards 
get rid of that tree. I'm going to use these level 3 machines because I'd like to get several on the go. <clears throat> so they have no power, they have no purpose. I'm going to set them to build rocket, rocket control units. You see it's intake needs are processing units and speed modules. Going to come from here. They just need one of each and I'll just review that in a moment, but they they take approximately 30 seconds crafting time and we're going to output because there's more than one I'm not just going to put them into a box here a chest here I'm going to put them onto a belt perhaps that leads to a box and maybe maybe we have that there and we're going to have the box be of a type which is a What's it going to be? We're going to have a... Uh, can I build one? Well, we'll have a a, provide, a passive provider chest. I'm using these yellow inserters, by the way, as opposed to the faster ones. They don't need to be as fast for this because they're outputting every 30 seconds an item, so, you know, they're not going to really accumulate on here before it picks them up, but you see these equally take about 30 seconds each to build so they're going to be interesting to keep on top of might need a higher rate of those so we'll hold shift right click on this to copy its properties and left click on this holding shift to paste that there so it's got the same instruction and um, we have no power uh, i might use one of one of these more advanced substations which have a wider see the catchment area there um and let's plan ahead a bit let's see if i need if i need more i want to move but just get make sure this inserter up here is caught in the in the field and maybe we'll put it there now we need to just connect that up to the mains let's go across here get our robots out of my range so he's now powered they're powered and they're working away there's our progress um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bang some modules in here I've just got some level level one modules already and I can put them on they'll stack not a very dramatic increase But uh, just look at the incremental counter there, 2730 compared with this one is a slightly faster rate because I've got all these modules on. Uh, that was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So if you look at this, the supply of speed modules is running a bit low isn't it it's not keeping up with the pace uh, in fact what i'll do is i'll get the robots in the meantime to upgrade these belts to level three the blue belts which are faster so at least once we get them out of the machine it's going to get there more quickly you see the speed of that one and my robot's desperately trying to keep up with me there <laughs> that's not really going to help we're going to going to need more I feel. What we could do of course is we could pick them up the spares from here and we can pick them up in a hand and, and drop them on here. Hold our Z key we can drop them directly onto the belt. Just give them that initial uh, boost level of items. Are these still building? You know we could appropriate these for our means but like I say this the research is quite a bit to do um, before it gets to the need for this I'm hoping to have accumulated a few by then enough to build a, a rocket so yeah we've got 15 built in there now 16 17 I forget how many it needs actually the rocket 
it's uh, it is a fair quantity. But anyway, that's the start of the um, rocket control units, and the other item was rocket fuel, and we see that's going to need solid fuel and light oil. So let's have a couple more of these. What I've done is I've brought over in preparation a light fuel feed from the uh, oil refinery. So let's think about this. So they need, if I go something like this, let's see, just bear with me a second, see if this works. When you when you choose a thing that requires a liquid input, the the assembly machine gets an in, intake of a liquid intake feed, and you see how that's connected. It's no power yet. Let's uh, think ahead and have a. Don't know where I'm going to put things yet. <laughs> Now there's there's the intake, and what this tells me is that needs to be a flat pipe to connect in. And imagine we're going to have several across here. So let's let's take a copy of that configuration. We see how the pipe will flow through. Uh, I'm thinking I can put them adjacent to each other. Let's have a few why not um so we've got half of its need fulfilled yeah and we just need solid fuel now solid fuel is being built actually over near our refinery so we'll just trek down there let's zoom out so i know where i'm going it's just below the main refinery so I'm, let's see and it's here. Hmm. So I've either got a choice of bringing that feed up, this is the existing feed here, bringing it up maybe up here and across. Let's try that shall we? So we'll use a splitter to get an output from this existing lane. We're not going to filter it, we just want some. <laughs> um, I don't think we need this many. We don't detect to This is for the trains, you know, which is fairly low usage. But uh, I'm thinking, do we just want one lane of this, one channel, instead of a dual lane? And the way I can do that is I can bend this. He says, <laughs> bend this round, go beyond this corner. Otherwise, it will create another curve and in and create another dual. Go one more and then onto there and then we just get the one lane you see so we'll pick that up we'll drag across we'll head up here see how far we get before we run into a, a maze of things I, again at this late stage guys i'm not too bothered about finessing this too much we're approaching the end game in the next few videos i, uh, I feel so here's our light oil, so I know it's going up here. And I want this to come underneath at a, at a one gap distance from the from the uh, assembly machine, so I can pick them up off here. So let's go here, bring it across. Should we destroy these cliffs just for the hell of it? I've got some on my shortcut. Yeah, a bit of destruction. Carry on. Around the corner, and there we go. We'll stand on the transport belt, gather some speed. And then we just want to... They only want one, I think, to build this. Let's see. Ten. I oh, need ten. I don't know, so let's give them a maybe a double lane was was appropriate. Um, we'll give them a big stack inserter, shall we? 
I'll go and double that up. I think it I think it will benefit from more. Can hear the flames burning there as we pass. So we'll just get this and um do that and pick that up. There it's now double, that'll catch up eventually and fill up. Head back, L zoom out, just so it's not so you know nausea-inducing to the eyes when you zoomed in. The scenery whips by quickly. Here we go. We should see that eventually catch up and the building away. And low, I hear you say, "Where's the output gonna go?" So um, we need another belt, don't we? Let's have it. Uh, here, we'll go this way. Um, we'll use a long-handed inserter to grab from the machine in that direction of the arrow from there, as you see, onto the belt. Here's our rocket fuel. So we've got that going into a passive ins passive box. We'll do the same here. I get the feeling we do need a lot, so what I might do is anticipate many, many more. How many? Have I still got this in memory? Let's have a see. Yeah, well, yeah, let's copy the, the whole caboodle. Oh, I'm sorry, I zigged when I should have zagged. The robots do the thing. Assuming I've got the things in my inventory, the robots should build these no problem. These are my personal robots. There are others from, you know, that reside in the base. Um, and when I see the green zone here, this is the area of construction that the base is covering. Anyway, so we've got how many? We've not got any power. Um, bring that across. There we go. Oh yeah, and we'll give them, if we've got any, some speed modules. <laughs> Let's come pick up some more. Uh, have we got any I can have? Yeah. Oh yeah, so we'll get these in hand and I think we can just run down this. Hold control, click, run, what's maximum it can in to the available slots. So we'll, let's have a, a box. Let's be, let's just check the, uh, Sorry, let's just check the timing of these. It's still 30 seconds, it's probably equivalent to the others. It is, isn't it? So why, you know, I've got nine of these, two of them. Bit of an imbalance. Um, perhaps I'm thinking ahead in previous games where I've, I've managed to get, if you send multiple rockets up with um, an an embedded satellite which you have to construct. For each satellite you send up into space you get granted some white science packs. They're the uh, the extra ones that just unlock some of this more advanced research which you don't really need for the end game but it's just nice to have if you want to go on a destructive streak across the map with artillery you know get the most powerful artillery. Our Spidertron is coming up to 81% done. And let's see, do I have any? I need a, I do need a robo port rather. This wasn't getting coverage. Um, this won't have power. Let's turn this the right way. Right. 
yeah, so you can now pick those up. What's your deal? <clears throat> uh, they don't, yeah, they don't build if they're full and there's no place on which to output, there's no space. So only these ones have space in which to output. They will store a maximum within themselves of two. You see it kicks into gear when, when the space that's that building um, we've got an accumulation now these are these are building up keeping up the pace it seems although I did supplement that didn't I with spare ones let's uh, let's boost the speed of this guy and this guy what we could do is make them level three three so they build faster Top them up. Top them up with speed modules. There we go. See, it's no longer. Well, it's 15 seconds, isn't it? So if I've got two of those, it's uh, four every 30 seconds, isn't it? These need uh, one every 30 seconds. So two of those at that rate, and it'll be higher than that now. There's, uh, they've got the speed modules in. It should it should start to accumulate. I would I would like to see anyway. So I'll tell you what, while we're waiting for that research, one thing I of the Spidertron, one thing I built earlier that I might not have shown you is the car. We built trains, haven't we? But we, I'm not showing you the car. I don't think. So this was unlocked long ago as part of the research automobilism. So I can pick it up from my inventory and just place it down. Doesn't matter which way I point it, I'm going to be badly steering it anyway. And it needs fuel. So I can give it some of this solid fuel actually. Uh, I can also give it some, it's got a, a mounted machine gun on the top. I can give it some of my am ammunition that I've got here just in case we enter, encounter some biters. Like a train, I go next or near it, I can press enter to get in. You hear the engine. And unfortunately it does crash into things like pipes, cliffs, big rocks like this, and you'll see me do that. But I'm posted forward, left, to turn and it will slide on transport belts it will be affected by transport belts it's not a good idea it's coming night time see if there's a way clear of the base not that way let's go around these rocks go around here and we'll have a recce. One thing I could show you while I'm here near this, I think anyway, is if I bring up my uh, blueprints. Uh, one thing I grabbed from one of my earlier bases was this. The game doesn't have an early warning system in terms of when you're low or might be getting low on power. So some clever soul designed this which is a kind of a workaround <laughs> and it uses the circuit network logic test in combination with a an accumulator there and lots of lights multicolored and a, a big horn a big fog horn now let's see I'd have to, I would have to isolate the circuit I think to test this but if I plunk it there I'll see if if the robots can build it let's go go to the mall here and get some lights Ooh. 
there we go and you see the, the whole grid here has got no power it's not it's not connected up ah what what is that it's a speaker is that some research I've not done can I craft one yeah sorry not enough ingredients I need iron copper and electronic eee e dsi let's have some of these while I'm here uh, what am I low on? Iron sticks, iron plates. These things. Is that enough? Where is it gone? Yep. The robot should build it when I get near. There it goes. Now, in I think simple, simplistic terms, if I can remember, we want. I have no blooming accumulator, have I? Can you bring me one? I might have some in logistics. Yeah, get into range of the logistics, i.e. these robo ports in this red space here, the log logistic support space. The robots will bring them from wherever they are. If I zoom out on the map, zoom back in a bit. Where am I? Here. I'm here. Put this little symbol on, we'll see a robot on its way. There it is. Bringing me things. Here's my accumulator here so I've got my one thank you very much yeah the robots are great they save you trekking all the way back there we go so what can I do can I grab grab you <laughs> I'll connect you up to a, so a power source. <clears throat> yeah, we you just heard that then, yes. And what's going on here? Make sure they're all covered. But the the logic in these that's just gonna output red. That that's telling it to light up red in this row. Yellow will light it's like a graphic equalizer almost, a power meter. When it's green we've got plenty of power. Let's grab another. It's probably night time. <laughs> and we made it into yellow. But the principle is the logic circuits say if it's if it's reading the power to be is it less than 20 20 percent i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah if it's 20 percent it's gonna and this in combination with that one is going to trigger the alarm so the alarm is set to whatever you want really um, pol pol polyphony <laughs> we can have alarms and alarm one two a drum you know that's a bit lame isn't it it's a single single note isn't it plucked strings steel drums but the alarms pretty good um, yeah a siren that'd be good wouldn't it low power alert show on map you get the idea um i might i might stick with that 
that's just the test so we're up to um, 70 percent provision and I remember this is isolated from the main grid we're only producing a diminishing amount because the night time is drawing in I think yeah from our solar panels going down accumulator coming up so what it's doing basically is reading the charge on the accumulator within this circuit network and it's filling these up accordingly so you see there on the green bar to the right on the information panel the accumulator has approximately just under half which is why these are at 50. We should see that drop as, as the power diminishes to charge that. It's basically using the power instead of charging now. So the power is going down to 40. It's whether this will last through the night as the sun comes up those solar panels will kick in again but we should hear the alarm go off there we go and if I was across the map if you saw the setting it's gonna be sound yeah tip that box I would hear it wherever I am on the map So Spidertron's nearly ready. Now let's get back in our car and just have a have a look around. Get some speed up, which is risky in this thing, crashing as I said into trees, dead trees, rocks. Got a train train track here to navigate. Just beat that one. Now then, on my map there I see some biters. Oh dear. Now, do you reckon I can take that with the onboard machine gun? Thank you, low power. That's too risky for me. So from an earlier, I think the last video, let's get out of our car. We can place down some, some backup turrets in case of runaway kind of styley we'll give him some ammo and let's just configure our character make sure he's got our we'll take our robots off temporarily and our night vision and we'll reapply our if we can find them Yes, personal lasers, at least a couple. And do I have any grenades? I created another bar, didn't I, for grenade? Yeah, for weaponry. So let's have that as our primary thing. Hold them in hand. And we're on machine gun, ready to go rock. Let's go. So we're trying to take out this base, shall we? Our lasers firing there. Let's zoom in a bit. And there's this, the bite and nest, those deadly worms. It was all oh, done and dusted without the need for the grenades. But they're good for, you know, mobbing clust clusters of enemies in a this, you know, area of effect. But the lasers took care of that for us. Where are we? This way. But the, the car there can be useful for exploring the map get out and I hit, I hit that then and took some damage you see there but I can right click collect it back into my inventory what I'll do is just set these for destruction uh, I took my robo port off didn't I um, where are we this way get rid of these put back in our robo port put back in our energy shield um, sorry not the energy shield that's the wrong level shield we've got the energy shield night vision so that brighten up then but you see now new crafting items are a spidertron and this is where I think in episode one or two we gathered some fish and I think I said then it's a strange recipe ingredient for a Robotron 
But in the water here, you just see there the black dots, hopefully, on the video here. The fish. Now, if they're in range, I can right, hold right button and gather them at five fish at a time. And I did gather some early on and put those into logistics. It's gone straight into my bin. So if I go near the, the mall, the robots will come and grab them. So I can build a robot if I have the materials, which I don't. Uh, a spider drum, rather. And I can build a spider drum remote if I have the materials. Now, over on the mall, I think there is... A, um, an assembly machine for each of those items to construct. Let's head back there, near the lower part of the mall here. And within, here come the robots. And Given all these materials in this box here that have been gathered from other constructions around the base, this I'm sure is going to be the robot, the Spidertron. So if I put that on, we should see that start to build. See, it's gathering the the relevant materials, and it might just be lacking the fish, because the fish is supposed to come here, and it's not doing. And is it because you're on the wrong side? Let's see. So we could have request a chest. I'm just going to have one. Let's get my uh, inventory back how it should be. Logistic request. Fish. I want to eat you little fishy, Red Dwarf fans. I'm going to eat you little fishy. Cat does it far better than I do. Let's see. None in logistics. Well, where's mine? Are we in a logistics region? Let's see. Did I apply that? It already exists somewhere, does it? I don't see it there. There. None in logistics. Well, where have they all gone? Are they all already here? There's some already here. So let's put them in here manually. There. How are you doing? Oh, it's the, yeah, sorry mate, it's the efficiency module 3 you're lacking, isn't it? See if we can sort that out for you. Have I even researched that? I think so. Can we, can we see some action? Ah, now there's a, there's a need for blue. Have we got any blue in... logistics can I give you any yeah and oh yeah you want efficiency module 2 don't you you're lacking in it you're lacking blue as well <laughs> you need some there don't you 10 and not, not you. That's your provision for both. Gave you too many. 
attack half. Give you half. Give you full. How many are you going to need, mate? Five greedy beggars. Uh, I can't even readily bring them over here, can I? Oh, right, starting the rocket silo research. I mean, if you're still here with me, thanks for watching to this point. I think what I'll do is I'll save it there. there. And in between now and the next video, I'll have that researched. And then we're ready to build that. And hopefully these will have accumulated and we're ready to feed it some, some good stuff so it can set off a rocket. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Mean a lot to me. And hit that bell so you get notified when I post new content. Thanks for now and I'll see you on the next video.